Hey guys, Andrew here with Elephant Racing, and today we're going to be showing you how to install our rear spring plate reinforcements onto this 1980 Porsche 911. Spring plate reinforcement panels help prevent or repair the common problem of cracked spring plate cover mounts, resulting from worn, deformed, or stuck bushings in the cover. Our reinforcement panels are precision laser cut and formed from 18 gauge steel. The panels distribute the torsion bar and spring plate loads into the torsion tube housing and sheet metal just beyond the original mounting boss locations. Installation of these reinforcements requires welding into place. Remember, this video is only an overview of the installation process, so be sure to check our website for the current downloadable instructions. Also, always have a service manual handy and remember to follow all standard safety procedures when welding and performing work on your car. To begin the installation, go ahead and trace the spring plate reinforcement directly onto the body, giving you an idea of where to remove the undercoating for welding. Once traced, start to remove the undercoating from the body. This can be done with a needle scaler, multi-function oscillating tool, knotted wire wheel, heat gun, putty knives, or any other tools hard enough to remove the undercoating but not damage the sheet metal. You'll want to remove all undercoating, paint, galvanizing, and corrosion within and slightly beyond the work area. Test fit the reinforcement panels onto the body. Ensure the form lip on the reinforcement panel fits into the recess around the torsion tube. Tack weld the reinforcement panel into place. Press the panel to the body while tacking to eliminate any gaps, which you can see here we've used spacers for. Remove the spacers and form with body hammer blows to wrap the lower tabs around the bottom of the body and flatten any large gaps that may remain around the edges. Skip weld the panel to the body. Skip welding minimizes warpage by distributing the heat as evenly as possible. Apply a weld bead one to one and a half inch long. Leave an unweld interval of three quarters to one inch before starting the next length of weld. Utilize and install the mounting stud alignment panel to help maintain mounting stud alignment and continue with skip welding. Continue this pattern around the panel until the weld beams are end to end. Once welding is complete, you should be left with a perfectly reinforced area. To apply the primer, we make sure we have a clean surface for proper bonding. Make sure to tape off the area being painted and evenly spray primer. Two coats is more than enough. Apply a fresh layer of undercoating to match the factory finish and you're ready for a layer of paint of your choice. And that's it. Your spring plate reinforcements are properly installed. 